Are you looking for an easy way to add GDPR consent to your email opt-in forms and pop-ups? Well, in this video, we're going to show you a couple of handy techniques that you can use that will help you to comply with the General Data Protection Regulation. Be sure to visit the links in the description, hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and be part of the conversation. Opt-in Monster is a plugin that makes meeting GDPR laws much easier. It has a customizable privacy consent checkbox, geo-targeting, so consent options are only displayed to those living in the European Union, a data processing agreement that meets all GDPR requirements, and a GDPR audit concierge that helps you if you're ever audited. If you'd like to start growing your list leads and sales, then one of the best ways that you can do that is by using Opt-in Monster. In this video, we're going to walk you through two different approaches to setting up your consent email forms. First, we'll look at adding a customizable checkbox to your form, and then we'll look at using geolocation targeting. If you're ready, we'll get started. Once you've created and logged into your account at optinmonster.com and you're on the dashboard, you'll need to click Create New Campaign. Then select a campaign type. So for today's example, we'll select Pop-Up. Next, we'll choose a template for our campaign. Optin Monster has 50 templates that we can choose from, and we can easily filter them based on our campaign goals. For an example, growing our email list, targeting abandoning visitors, redirecting traffic to another page, and even time-sensitive offers. Today, we'll use a split template because it has all the elements that we need to create an eye-catching pop-up for our lead magnet as an incentive to collect visitors' email addresses. Next, we'll create a name for our campaign and assign it to our site. Now we'll click Start Building and begin customizing the pop-up. To edit an element on our pop-up, we'll need to click on it and the editing tools will appear on the left. Now let's see how that works. To change our default image, we'll click on the image. Now we can see the image library, where we can choose an image. And since we've already uploaded an ebook cover, we'll choose that. Next, we'll remove the background by heading over to the left panel and clicking Opt-in Settings. Now we'll select Opt-in View Styles. Next, we'll scroll down a little and change the background color of our form to white. OK, great. If we'd like to add a block to our pop-up, we can click Add Blocks and select the column layout, but we'll not be using that feature in today's example. Now just below that, we can see that we can choose from different elements like buttons, a countdown timer, icons, images, video, additional opt-in fields, and more. Let's choose a text block and we'll drag it into our pop-up and include a little text. Now we might want to tweak the spacing of the blocks just a little at this point. So to do that, click on the element that you'd like to change. Then click Block. And scroll down a little to Padding, and we'll make our edits. Excellent. Now let's customize our button's color to match our brand. So we'll click on the button and change our color here. Let's make this color gold. Are you still with me? OK, you're doing great. All right, now we'll incorporate a privacy consent field into our form. Now to do that, we'll just click on the field on the form where our subscribers will add their email addresses. Then we'll see the Editing Fields element panel appear on the left. Next, we'll need to click on the plus sign next to Privacy. Now we'll see that the default statement has been added to our form. So now we'll need to click on the Privacy button to edit the statement, and we'll enable the Privacy checkbox by moving the slider to the right. Now our visitors will need to click on it before they can complete the form. You can use Opt-in Monster's Privacy Checkbox for general terms and services or for explicit consent. To meet GDPR requirements, our checkbox needs to explain what we'll be doing with the email addresses and a link to our privacy policy. All right, terrific. Now we're ready to collect GDPR consent in our email opt-in form, and we're going to display our campaign. Today we'll be using the XN Intent Trigger, so the pop-up will appear as the visitors are scrolling toward the browser bar, or if they're on mobile, when they start scrolling up or hit the back button. By using Exit Intent, it allows us to convert an additional 2 to 4% of our visitors into subscribers. So to enable our Exit Intent pop-up, we'll go to the top of our editor and click Display Rules. Then we'll click on Exit Intent. Now for today, we'll leave the settings as they are and then click Next Step. That will take us to the Actions page, and again, we'll leave the settings as they are and click the Next Step button. Now we'll see the Summary page where we can review our settings. Once we've reviewed the settings, we'll need to click the Save button at the top of the screen. All right, fantastic. All right, now if we're happy with our campaign, it's time to publish our pop-up. So to do that, we'll click the Publish button at the top of the screen, and then we'll switch our campaign status to Live. 
Now we're all set and we can start capturing GDPR consents on our email opt-in forms. All right, now let's quickly look at the second method. It's super easy. Using geolocation targeting, our GDPR consent opt-ins will only be shown to the visitors that we have coming from the European Union. All we have to do is create our pop-up, just like we did a few moments ago. But when you get to the step where we are to set the display rules, we'll just select physical location. Next, we'll choose is in an EU country. Now we'll click the next step button at the bottom of the page. And on the action page, we'll click next step again. Now we'll see the summary page and we'll see a list of all the countries in the European Union where our GDPR compliant opt-in form will be shown. And let's be sure that we save the form before we leave. Now we've published our GDPR compliant form. See how easy that was? If you don't already have an Optin Monster subscription, we've left a link in the description below where you can check them out. Now, once you start gathering all those leads, why not join over 2 million other Monster Insights users and start getting Google Analytics data right on your WordPress dashboard? And to get a special discount, just be sure to check out the link in the description. To learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just check out one of the videos that's on your screen now.